How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Singh from 3D Central here, and about two years ago, I uploaded a video to YouTube on how to unjam a MakerBot Smart Extruder. Hello, we're gonna be doing a teardown of the MakerBot Smart Extruder. Today, this video has about 35,000 views, and it has a lot of comments from librarians and educators and teachers who have found this video really useful on how to fix their MakerBot Smart Extruder. Since the release of that video, MakerBot's released the Smart Extruder Plus, which is a lot more stable and has a much longer life than the original Smart Extruder, but it has one of the same problems the original Smart Extruder did. When the filament is withdrawing, if you tug it, a small piece will fall down and get caught inside the extruder, causing a jam when you try and feed filament into it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take apart the MakerBot Smart Extruder Plus and get your Smart Extruder Plus back up and running in no time. Before starting this process, you'll wanna make sure that your Smart Extruder Plus has had time to properly cool down. So after withdrawing the filament, let it sit for a few minutes so that the hot end gets to room temperature before you start taking it apart. You'll wanna take your Allen key and going through, remove these four bolts around all sides and then place them off to the side. Now, remove the fan shroud. Now we just have the extruder module and we'll take a flex cut and slice this seal here on the side. And then we can remove this sticker. And now, the Smart Extruder Plus will just open up. If it feels like it's stuck, you'll wanna go back and make sure that this sticker has been fully cut. Now the Smart Extruder Plus will open up. Now, remove this bearing, place that to the side, and remove the hobbed bolt, and you'll start to see where the jam is. And now when you open this piece up, you'll see a piece of filament sticking up, and you can just grab this and pull it out. And that's it. Now the extruder is unjammed. Here are the pieces of plastic that had jammed it. Now they've been removed from the Smart Extruder. We can discard those. Now, to reassemble the Smart Extruder Plus, just reverse the steps that you took a moment ago, place everything back together. And you can do this by pushing down on the lever, and that'll help keep this in place inside the extruder body. I know it looks a little intimidating on the inside, but it's fairly simple once you're inside it. And now, you can push the heating block inside, make sure the wires are tucked up into the body. Now take the castle nut and replace that. Push that through, place the bearing back on top. Now you're about halfway assembled, you just place the body back on top. Great, and now it's a completed module. Now we're just gonna replace the screws and put the fan shroud back on. All right, and now the fan shroud is back attached and the screws are all in place. And now the Smart Extruder Plus has been fully reassembled and the clog has been removed. So now it should be fully operational. So let's go test it out. So now we're gonna load some filament through it and test it out to make sure it's working. Great, and now we have filament extruding. And now we can see filament extruding freely with the original clogged filaments being here at the bottom. All right, great. Now you know how to unjam the MakerBot Replicator Smart Extruder Plus. This is just a really great technique for being able to get a machine back up and running quickly. If you have a jam, you can just take it apart, pull it out, and put it back together really fast. If you're a teacher or an educator and you have a classroom full of students and you want to keep maximum uptime on that machine, I recommend having a pair of these so that you can swap them out really quickly and then you can always repair these or send them back to MakerBot if they're covered under warranty. Taking them apart and cutting the seal will void the warranty if the smart extruder is still covered under warranty. However, if it is not, you're free to take it apart and do this. I find this technique will work every time. I've yet to find a Smart Extruder Plus that I have not been able to fix. So I recommend giving it a shot and taking it apart and trying to get that clog out. It's a really good way to get these things back up and running really quick. If you're looking to buy a spare Smart Extruder Plus, you can buy one directly from us, 3D Central. You can find the link in the description box below. Like this video and leave me a comment if you were able to unjam your Smart Extruder Plus. I love hearing from people who are able to watch these tutorials and get some sort of value out of them. It's a really great feeling. Subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks, 3D printing build videos, and general 3D printing knowledge. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing. Bye.